I guess this is what it looked like when the universe is working through someone. Etona Squad, y'all. Yeah. Finna get straight to the point. Uh, what do it feel like to be betrayed? What do it feel like to be in a mental cage? You feel me? So, these examples is coming from the heart. It's coming from God. I'm hearing God is telling me, tell it all. You feel me? So I got to obey God. I got to listen to God. But one thing I want to say is every single day, practice meditation or practice manifesting. When you practice these steps and these skills, you will be more in tune with your body, your mind, your soul, and your spirit. So what it feel like to be betrayed, especially by someone you trust, by someone you care about? See, me coming up, I always came into this world with the knowing of people are not real. So everything that I experienced when it came to betrayal in this lifetime, it didn't really phase me. It just had me question my true identity. Like, you feel me? It, it made me question my power. And it's like when you are betrayed, you don't know you are betrayed until after the fact you reflect. So when you are betrayed, you don't know. That's the crazy part about betrayal. You don't know you are betrayed until you reflect on the situation and God give you clues so you can put it together because you are the teacher, you are the master, you are the student. So, I had friends growing up, but I didn't have friends. I never had a real friend. I never had a person that I could call my brother. Even if he, quote unquote, was my brother, he wasn't my brother. You feel me? And I experienced all type of crazy things in this world. And this world taught me to never trust a motherfucker. Real shit. We got PTSD from this room. I've been betrayed by close family members, friends, girlfriends, whatever you want to call it, nigga. I don't even call it any any of those labels. I call them clones. I call them robots. But your mind got to be strong when you're going through betrayal. If you have went through betrayal, you are a strong person. I salute to you. But your mind got to be strong. And it feels like rockets are shooting at you. You feel me? It's like you've been in a shootout. And in your mind, it's like someone finna die. You feel me? Just that simple. But, damn, it's really, it's really, it's like a challenge. It's like a challenge. Like, I'm really, ah. Uh, Oh, I'm trying to give it to him, but I got to slow my thoughts now. But I remember one time, right? I was 19 years old. And this is when I knew betrayal was real. This is when I knew, like, it don't matter if it's your mom, your dad, cousin, brother, sister, whatever. It don't matter. God will allow these things to happen so you can remember who you are. So you can remember how powerful you are. So I've been betrayed by my mom. Sad to say, but it's the truth. And it's not like I hate my mom. I don't hate my mom at all. I love my mom my whole heart. My mom is my child. So it's, so it's like I can't say I hate my mom. I can't say that. I can't say... I don't love my mom. I can't say that because I be lying. I forgive my mom, but I got to teach my mom a lesson by distancing myself. When you go through betrayal, you got to distance yourself from that person that betrayed you. I distanced myself from my mom. And the whole time I was going through that situation, I was reflecting on me. I was just reflecting on me. What got me here? And what God is trying to teach me. So I read a book. And the book said forgive. 
I'm like, okay, God wants me to forgive. God wants me to forgive my mom. But the word forgive, it holds its own energy, its own frequency. So you can say you forgive someone, but you still holding grudges. And God don't want you to hold grudges. God don't want you to hold hatred, jealousy in your heart. God don't want you to do these things. I've been betrayed by my best friend. I've been betrayed by girlfriends. I've been betrayed by all types of people, bro. Like, all types of people. It's so crazy. And I can truly say it doesn't affect me because I'm doing healing in the work. The more I reflect on my situations, I'm healing the wounds that's been targeted for me, like, you know what I'm saying? It's been targeted. You know what I'm saying? It's been targeted. Thank you, God. It's been targeted. These wounds been targeted. They try to target my mind. They try to target uh, my spirituality, my identity. They try to target these things. And I understand this is the matrix. So I cannot let the matrix suck me back into the matrix because I shifted from the matrix. I understand that I am the matrix. I am the glitch in the matrix. I control this reality. My mom is a narcissist. She is very delusional. She has an illness that many women have. Many low vibrational women have an illness of depression. But I don't believe in depression. That's just a label. But it's it's something. It's something that is rubbing her every single day. That's causing her to feel pain. And she's not willing to heal it. She's not willing to accept her flaws. She not she's not willing to uh you know what I'm saying own up to her responsibilities, like her actions. She's not willing to own up to this. I'm saying so if she was to watch this video, she's going to feel it on a deeper level. It's going to touch her soul and she's going to know this is coming from the heart. She's not willing to own up to this. She's not willing to own up to what she did to me as an individual. And I forgive. I forgive, but I do never, I never forget. One thing about me, I forgive you, but I never forget. I move different. I talk different. I say less. I speak less. That should tell you something. When a person speak less around you, that should tell you something. And it feel like rockets when you get betrayed. It's, it feel like rockets. It feel like rockets being shot at you and you don't know what's happening. Like You be like, damn, you be, you be reflecting on the situation. You be like, damn, these motherfuckers really set me up. But it's like... What can I really do about it? I don't want to go back to my old ways and try to get revenge because that's not me no more. I don't want revenge. The best revenge I can ever do, like, I don't know, but, like, the best revenge is really working on yourself. That's revenge to me is working on myself and not even stressing about it, giving to God. I remember one time I was betrayed by my closest friend. My closest friend ever. We like this. And God wanted to show me something. God showed me something. It, it, it touched my soul. I said, okay, God. I got it. Every time I go through a betrayal, I'm like, I'm leveling up. I got it, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for allowing that to happen because I see the world different. I have a better perspective on self. I have a better perspective on love. I have a better perspective on my identity. You feel me? The only reason you are betrayed is because you have a power of strength. God only allow people to betray you because you have a power of strength. And he's building strength that's superhuman within you. They, she, he, whatever. I don't label God. I just say the most high. I say they. But this is this is of a challenge. 
I'm not gonna lie, this is a challenge because where do I start? They don't want me to speak my truth. They don't want me to be who I am. Uh, they want me to talk less. And I knew it was real when I be having these certain dreams of my mom attacking me. I knew it was real. I just didn't have the proof. One thing about this shit, it's a lie. What you see is a lie. But what's revealed to you in your dreams is the truth. And you can feel the feeling of betrayal. You can feel when it's something not right about a person. You can just feel it. Energy never lies. How come every time I come around, everybody nice? But when I leave, it's a different story. What's really going on? You got to start questioning things like that. When people always having mixed emotion towards you, you got to, like, you got to really, like, what's really going on? Do I got to distance my person? Do I got to take my power back? Because obviously this person is jealous of me. Obviously this person is abusing my power. They abuse your power until you don't have no power left within you. One thing about betrayal, they abuse your power. These narcissist people, these delusional people, these ma manipulators, they abuse your power. They drain you out of your energy. They lie to you. They lie on you. They do all types of things when it comes to you because they want to be you. They want to know what it feel like to be you. They want to know how you are able to speak the way you speak. How are you able to? How are you able to do this? Like. What is your spiritual gift? What is your signs? What is your birth chart? Like they go deep within the, they go deep within the spiritual shit. I'm saying they go deep into witchcraft. They go deep into voodoo. They go deep into all of this shit. Just because you have a mind of a genius. And I understand like my family know I have a mind of a genius. And certain family members, I'm not gonna say all family members, because it's not all family members. But certain family members target me my whole entire life. I'm saying because when I got to this point, I was going to speak up. You feel me? And you got to stand up for yourself. Because shit like this, it doesn't go unnoticed. It shows. I'm saying when the chosen one come around, it shows. They all nice to the chosen one. They all nice to the chosen one. But when, they, when the chosen one leave, it's a different story. You got to start questioning things, man. You feel me? This shit ain't no coincidence. I really started to question shit when I heard those demonic voices come out of people. I'm hearing she a church lady, but she just said some demonic shit. Whoa. Is she really religious or is she doing some fucking rituals behind the scenes? You got to start questioning shit like that. Like, I got family members that swear they holy. Swear they holy, but they overseas doing rituals and shit. What's really going on? Is you is you really praising God? Or is you praising Zeus? Is you praising Satan? Is you doing dirt behind the scenes? Because it's all it always come back to the chosen one. You can't fake energy. You can't. The chosen one is the master of this shit. We know what you're going to do before you even do it. We have ancestors telling us what you are doing. We have angels telling us what you are doing. We have God within us telling us what you are doing. You feel me? So. My life. Is. Beyond me. Like I don't know where to start. Like I can write, I can write a book about my life. Like I can write thousands of books about my life. They try to use me as a sacrifice. They try to use me as the scapegoat. They wanted to steal my inheritance. They wanted to take my spiritual gift. They wanted to sacrifice me to some vampires and demonic. Entities, forces, and shit like that because I had a light about me as a kid. I was very talented as a kid. 
I was very talented. And I was very smart. I seen shit before it happened. I seen shit before it happens. I knew what I knew what was going on. I knew I had a small percent of a chance of coming into this world through that portal. When I got through that portal, I knew it was a small percent of a small percent chance that I probably was going back. Because when you going through the portal to get here, that's a motherfucking journey. That's a motherfucking that's a motherfucking journey. This shit ain't no joke. You might be in that portal for for millions of years. If that time doesn't exist, years doesn't exist, none of that shit exists. I see you, baby. I see you, ancestors. But none of that shit exists. And certain things that happen to you in your childhood, you really got to put the pieces together. This is the matrix. But as I was saying, like, this is the matrix. Everything is tricky. Everything is meant to confuse your mind. And as a chosen one, you are born into a demonic family. These family members are very demonic. They are in cults. They are doing rituals. They blood sacrifice people for money, for for power they feel like money is power but money is not power you feel me and when they see you they see money power respect rank because it's all have to do with spiritual if they can take you out they go up in rank in demonic energy so if they was to take you out it's like they go up in rank and demonic energy is in the more demonic shit they are doing. Like, you don't know what these people really doing. When these people go to work, where are they really going? When these people be on road trips and different countries and continents, where are they really doing? You feel me? Like, I question shit like this. My grandmother, she's a Jehovah's Witness. But I question shit like this. I'm like, okay, grandma, I mean, Every time I see you, you look drained. Every time I see you, you look dark. You have this dark cloud over your head, grandmommy. You always tired. You know what I'm saying? You give you give witch vibes off. You travel across the world with all these people and all that. What do y'all really do? Because y'all ain't doing this for God. Y'all not traveling to London and all that shit. Y'all ain't doing that for God. Come on now. Y'all can't fool me. Y'all can't fool the chosen one. I'm saying I stand on this shit and they know I stand on this shit. That's why you are a threat to this world, to this system, to this simulation, because you stand on the shit you say. Your, your name hold a rank in the spiritual realm. Everything I'm saying, I'm being backed up behind this shit. And what it feel like to be betrayed, it feels intense. Because you just laid up in the bed just asking God why. But it's always that small voice in your head telling you, you know why. You know why you are going through this. You know why you signed up for this. And you can't complain because it's like, I'm getting stronger. I'm getting more wiser. I'm moving smarter. I'm avoiding death traps. Because it's death trap set for the chosen one. All that shit I went through in my life, it was meant to kill me. It was meant to bring me back to the train station. They wanted me back at the train station. Because it took a lot for me to get here. It took a lot. And I don't, I don't think a lot of people understand that on a spiritual level. I don't think a lot of people even understand what I'm even, what I'm even saying. Because it's very deep. But if you understand this on a spiritual level, just understand, like, God is telling you something in this video. But people in this world are very demonic. Your family, your 
friends, whatever. They live off a of low vibrational shit. They live off demonic shit. They live off that. They can't be around a high vibrational person for too long because they're going to end up disappearing. That's how this shit is. The universe protects the chosen one. The universe listens to the chosen one. So whatever the chosen one say, the universe is listening. Whatever the chosen one is thinking, the, the universe is listening. And... The demonic shit, all that demonic shit these people doing always come to the light. So I'll be damned if I let my reflection not know what the fuck going on. My reflection need to hear this. My reflection need to know family is not family. My reflection need to know your family try to kill you. Your family try to steal your spiritual gift. You have sight. You have psychic abilities. Your family want that. Your your mom, your dad, whoever. Whoever, whoever, whoever carries a demonic energy, a, a energy of low vibrational, they are definitely doing demonic things. They are going deep into spirituality. They are definitely going deep into spirituality. Everything is spiritual. And you see these people, they are right in front of your face. These people do magic. These people do voodoo. These people do uh, rituals. These people do all type of things because they are in a cult. These low vibrational entities are in a cult. They, they, they gather around and plot on you all day. All day, they they have pictures of you. It's easy to get access to your pictures. It's easy get it's easy to get access to your videos because everybody is spying on you. You feel me? So when you are not able to really focus, that's when you gotta question the people around you, like who's around you, who's in your energy. When you're not able to speak how you want to speak, you gotta question the people around you. You gotta create space you gotta go within yourself you gotta meditate you gotta manifest do uh practice of med uh, med manifestation do practice of manifestation manifest every single day do a manifestation practice do affirmations you gotta do these things so the universe can reveal it to you the universe is never going to reveal something you are not ready to see the universe is never going to reveal something you are not ready to see. God always is all, all God always on time. God always on time. This video is divine timing. It took a lot for me to really make this video because it's times in this video that I wanted to stop making this video because that's the the energies around me. They understand that I'm speaking to a camera. They understand that they have a microphone. You feel me? The phone is tapped. Is monitor spirits all around me. It's monitor spirits all around you. These monitor spirits monitor you. They send monitor spirits to monitor you. That's how spiritual it is. You can't see it, but you can feel it. You feel me? Never trust what you see in the physical. Always trust what you feel. Trust your senses. You are so powerful. They want your mind. They want your soul. They do these things because they want your soul. They want to know what it feel like to be in your skin. They are not comfortable in their own skin. These people, these beings, these entities are not comfortable in their own skin. That's why they target you. They want you to feel how they feel. They want you to do the demonic things they do. They see that you are high vibrational. And they want to take you down. They want to destroy that. They want to destroy your, your character. They want to destroy your strength. They want to destroy everything. They want to target your mind. They want to target your mind so you can be weak. They are using magic to control what you believe in. They are using magic to control your reality. 
They are using magic to confuse you. Magic, magic is used against the chosen one so they can be confused. So this whole time I was under a magic spell. They was fucking with my mind. They fuck with your mind because they don't want you to see what's really there. Because what's really there, it always been there. My whole life, it, it already, it always been there. They wanted to block me from God. They wanted to block you from God. They wanted to block you from your higher self. That's why they do these things. When you are able to contact your higher self, when you are able to contact God, oh, you, 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 a big threat. You a big threat to this world. Because what you can say can turn down a whole organization of demonic forces, demonic people. And how people moving around me, they move different. And I see them. I don't reveal everything on the internet because I know the internet fake. I show what I want to show. I say what I want to say. I say what I want to say. I, I do what I want to do. I show what I want to show because I know I'm playing script right now. This is not really who I am. You guys don't know who I am. You guys don't know who half. And I want you guys to really reflect on your story. Reflect on the things that happen to you. Because it's spiritual. It's not a coincidence. You feel me? Like, us being chosen ones, we got to understand how powerful we are. Them being low vibrational demonic forces, they are powerful too. They are powerful too. So, they use so much willpower to... Split people apart. They want siblings in the family to not get along. They want siblings in the family to look at each other as competition. Look at each other as crazy. Look at each other as the uh, opponent. Family do that. Family go in groups and split family apart. My family does this shit for sure. And it's so crazy. My dad told me this shit. My dad told me my mom was evil. And it made me question my dad. If my mom evil, then who are you? And I understand these are my kids. These are my children. I forgive my children. I accept my children. But I move different around my children. My children disrespect me. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to put you in your place. I'm your dad. I'm your mom. I'm back. Belt the ass. And it's not abusing you. I'm not abusing you at all. I'm teaching you a lesson. I'm disciplining you. I'm showing you what unconditional love is. I'm showing you that I care. I'm showing, that, I'm showing you that I care about your well-being. I'm showing you that I care about your, your life, your your life i'm showing you that i care but it's only so much that i can do i can't force you to do anything i can't force you to listen to me they ain't want to listen to me now they listen to me people in the back they listen to me now now they listen to me all of a sudden they listen to me because i'm tapped into my power i'm tapping into god i'm tapping into my higher self i'm tapping into the ancestors tapping into the angels I'm tapping into the spiritual I'm not in the physical no more I see spiritually and I just want to tell y'all bro it's okay if some things don't make sense to you it's not supposed to make sense my story is not supposed to make sense to anyone your story is not supposed to make sense to anyone. But trust and believe someone's going to resonate with that shit. Someone going through this shit right now. Someone is fighting a witchcraft battle right now. Someone is fighting a match. Like, we all fighting this shit, bro. It's spiritual. Every single day we fighting against these demonic energies, these demonic forces. They don't stop. 
they don't get tired of doing demonic shit. And we don't get tired of doing high vibrational shit. We never get tired of being positive because it's in our heart. And guess what's in their heart? It's hate in their heart. It's jealousy in their heart. It's envy in their heart. It's evil in their heart. It's not righteousness. We here to teach their ass a lesson. Trey belt the ass all the time. Every time. And they know what type of time I'm on the spiritual realm. I don't got to say much. Because everything I went through is literally how strong we are as a chosen one. You see me? How strong we really are. <laughs> but how my relationship with my mom now is hella weird. How my relationship with my dad now is hella weird. I had a... I'm going to I'm I'm uh, share this with y'all. I had a vivid dream. I was on the phone with my mom and dad. And... They knew I knew. They knew I knew what I... They knew I knew what they did. And they so delusional. They so of a narcissist. They can't accept that shit. They can't say, son, I apologize. They can't say... They can't say this shit. They can't say this shit. So they come to me in the spiritual realm. Pretending. They come to me in the spiritual realm sending people to attack me. They come to me in the spiritual realm to confuse me. That's what the enemy do. Confuse you. You got to tap in. You feel me? Tapping in got me here, y'all. I'm not going to lie to you. Everything in this video, I said, I stand on shit I say. My mom, she's my daughter. My dad, he's my son. Vice versa, I'm their son. I am a genius of years old. These are my kids. And I'm here to teach my kids a lesson. I'm here to teach my kids unconditional love. There's no hate in my heart. But it takes time to heal it takes time to really forgive one thing about forgiving it takes time it takes a lot of strength every single day to really reflect you feel me i love y'all